no place to live. American deal fatal blow to has Meg, driving them out of the country. A royal expert has claimed that the American people have started turning on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry over their new Netflix documentary as their complaints are toned deaf. US-based royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told the royal beat some of the claims about being hard done by made by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex haven't gone down well with people struggling with financial woes. In the documentary, the couple who stepped down from their roles as working royals in May 2020, claim they received a lack of support from the firm and compared the treatment of Meghan to Harry's mother Princess Diana. The experts said the US was more sympathetic at first but they were recently mocked on Saturday Night Live for complaints they were making from a life of wealth and privilege. Arbiter explained, overall the US has been quite sympathetic to Harry and Meghan since they arrived a couple of years ago, but over the last couple of weeks, there's been a slight change in the tide. You've had a number of the morning show anchors being a little bit critical and the couple were mocked on Saturday Night Live. I think it speaks to the fact that there has just been such a saturation of all the ways that Harry and Meghan feel hard done by, and it becomes increasingly difficult to feel sorry for someone when they appear to be leading such a life of wealth and privilege. There's a point where you wonder how tone deaf this is when there's a war going on when people are wondering how they're going to feed their families and heat their homes. At some point, I think people are losing patience, and they're going to continue to lose patience, and we still have a book to go. Comedic legends Steve Martin and Martin Short for SNL likened themselves to Harry and Meghan in a cheeky jab after the first three episodes were released last week. During their opening monologue, the pair celebrated Steve's staggering 16 times hosting the show compared to Martin's slightly less impressive three. Martin then remarked, You know, Steve, we are like Harry and Meghan. No one's rooting for us, but you'll tune in to watch anyway. Victoria said the TV show's mockery could be a sign that Hollywood was falling back in their support, which will make others follow suit. She continued, Hollywood is notorious for avoiding negativity like the plague. They don't like anything that could potentially harm the glimmer and stardust. It's going to be quite interesting to see if this slightly less sympathetic approach to Harry and Meghan continues if Hollywood starts to fall back. It was interesting that there were a number of people not included in this series that perhaps you would have heard from, whether it was Oprah or Gail King or the Obamas or the Cloanies, there's a lot of people that they didn't call on. I suspect that Harry and Meghan are going to want to continue the work of their foundation, to promote their charitable endeavors but what kind of cash do they have once they've sold out all of their royal stories? Meghan and Harry's new docuseries lacks proof according to a royal commentator. He added that the couple's popularity in the UK has hit an all-time low. That's an understatement, really. To say plummeted, I don't think it could go any lower, to be honest. Royal commentator Neil Sean told Fox News. He added, It's a disgraceful situation that they've put themselves in, and I think what's interesting that a lot of people are forgetting is, first of all, it's a one sided story. Sean claimed that Meghan had misled the media before, pointing to an instance in which the Duchess apologized for misleading the court over her recollection of information being given by one of her aides to authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand while they were working on a flattering biography of the Sussexes, Finding Freedom. Sean said, Harry holds up this phone and says he has received a text from William, how do we know? We don't see. This is where it becomes really sort of convoluted and I think people are also forgetting that Meghan Markle herself misled the media. She colluded with that, Finding Freedom, book, she misled the court and then suddenly remembered, only because her former assistant decided to go public with those texts.